Bonjour à tous. Hello and welcome to this new edition of Business Africa. I am Dea Yoka, the top stories of this episode. AI is getting more and more present in our daily lives. As many experts claim, the groundbreaking technology will profoundly impact global economic growth. Meta launched on WhatsApp a free curriculum for French-speaking African entrepreneurs. The mobile phone-based tool called WhatsApp Business Coach aims to be secure and innovative. And finally, West African countries have passed several measures to support their economies in recent months. Still, inflation continues to rise in the YMU bloc. How to discuss technological progress and not mention AI and its numerous promises. Africa wants to prepare its youth to use the computer technology that companies across sectors are using more and more. The world of artificial intelligence is accelerating and Africa wants to take full advantage of the promises of this technology. As far back as 2014, 32 African countries established the Smart Africa Alliance, a partnership aimed at accelerating the sustainable socio-economic development of the African continent through the use of information and communication technologies. While companies are proliferating and the banking and financial sphere, training is also multiplying on the continent. Many analysts believe the opportunities offered by the fourth industrial revolution must be seized. And for that, the youth must be initiated in data science. In 2018, the African Institute of Mathematical Sciences, founded in South Africa, inaugurated its master's program in artificial intelligence in collaboration with tech giant Google and Meta. Last week, the University of Johannesburg announced the introduction of artificial intelligence as a mandatory subject for all students. While in Morocco, the International Center for Artificial Intelligence inaugurated the Artificial Intelligence Dome on November 9 in Rabat. This new infrastructure is a research laboratory entirely dedicated to the promotion of artificial intelligence at the national and continental levels. To get more on this, we joined by Amal Al Falah Sarushni, Executive President of AI Movement, Morocco's International Center for Artificial Intelligence. Welcome to Business Africa, Madam. Artificial intelligence is booming, and Africa wants to play its part. How could this technology, which is a cornerstone of innovation, help address the continent's socio-economic challenges? I think artificial intelligence is a great tool that can be used, first of all, to increase capacity. Artificial intelligence can also be used in the field of agriculture, which is one of the most important areas for Africa. Artificial intelligence can also be a major asset in the field of health, because today, thanks to artificial intelligence, we can raise awareness, we can treat people, we can diagnose diseases better. And then an element that does not seem to me to be a luxury in our continent is everything that is industrial development. Today, many industries are already using connectivity and artificial intelligence to improve their value chains. I think that artificial intelligence can fully play its role as a catalyst and game changer for Africa's problems. Peut jouer pleinement son rôle de catalyseur et de game changer par rapport à, aux problématiques de l'Afrique. Dans quel to what extent can artificial intelligence enable substantial productivity gains across economic sectors? Artificial intelligence will bring added value to classic digital, if I may say so. For example, there is a French company that has created a card for visually impaired people. The card talks to you while you are using it to check what is displayed. This is exactly what you hear when you put a card in the hands of someone who cannot read or write. To secure mobile payments, artificial intelligence can do a lot. So there is the aspect of user-friendly. We don't have the network everywhere, we don't have the infrastructure structure everywhere in Africa, so artificial intelligence can be used to bring the service closer to the citizens. Artificial intelligence is often put forward as a solution to the labor shortage, yet Africa doesn't lack workforce. Is there a risk that artificial intelligence comes to represent a threat to the employment sector? Notre 
Our responsibility to future generations is to train our young people so that we do not become consumers of artificial intelligence technologies made outside of Africa. So that's my struggle. How can we train African youth to be a force for proposal and production of new technologies? There are new jobs that will be created with artificial intelligence. The European Commission estimates that 60 million jobs will be created in 10 years thanks to artificial intelligence. So today we need to create and imagine new jobs that accompany artificial intelligence. De créer, d'imaginer de nouveaux métiers qui accompagnent l'intelligence artificielle. Just moments ago, you mentioned training. The Artificial Intelligence Research Center was recently inaugurated in Rabat. What's the goal of this center that happens to be the largest of its kind in Africa? AI is a movement towards intelligence elevated by artificial intelligence. What we want to do is to create new competences and to equip young people with these competences to make them well-informed citizens citizens capable of producing good ethical and responsible science and artificial intelligence. We want to deploy artificial intelligence on a large scale. We want to be a continental hub in the long term and we want to work with all African countries to ensure that Africa has a safe in the subject of artificial intelligence. Amal El-Falah Sehroushni, thank you for your insight. Thank you for having me. It started with MetaBoost. Meta has now made available WhatsApp Business Coach. The low data cost platform for entrepreneurs in Francophone Africa gives them access to free training in order to deepen their entrepreneurial skills. Tech giant Meta announced the launch of WhatsApp Business Coach in Francophone Africa. The tool, accessible to everyone, allows small and medium sized enterprise managers to get training from cell phone in order to develop their online business in an ever-changing digital market. Since 2017, Meta, through its Meta Boost program, has offered entrepreneurs free online courses. While access to connectivity remains a challenge for Africans, the California-based group aims to adapt its offer. We wanted to go further and make our training much more inclusive in the sense that there are entrepreneurs in Brazzaville, but there are also entrepreneurs in other small towns. And so there you have it. It's a way to be consistent in our mission and to take into account the concrete realities that entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs go through on the African continent and bring solutions that allow us to respond to situations and not just theory solutions. The low data cost chatbot tool provides access to step-by-step -step courses, allowing learners to increase their online awareness and deepen their entrepreneurial skills. The needs an entrepreneur has in reality are known, and they are simple. However, we also know that for women in particular, there are difficulties in access to financing, for example. And that's why we have also included in our MetaBoost training tool modules to find financing, partners, and so on. The free curriculum is validated by the issuance of an official certification. The West African Economic and Monetary Union inflation rate stood at 8.4% in October, compared to 8.3% in September. The bloc is caught in an unprecedented inflationary spiral. Should governments and financial institutions have ramped up their efforts, or did inflation require more than a monetary policy? Year-on-year -year inflation in the West African Economic and Monetary Union stood at 8.4% in October 2022, up from 8.3% in September, according to data from the Central Bank of West African States. The union had expected inflation to fall to 8% for October, which is still three times the target of 3% for the region. The bank blamed high food and fuel prices for the figure. 
that the government can take to make sure that uh, they um, make progress towards uh, food security will be helpful. But it is also important to make sure that um, uh, uh, the countries move steadily and uh, uh, promptly towards everything that can allow them to make sure that um, their economy are more and more uh, competitive. During a summit for the region's heads of state in Abidjan, Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara was optimistic about the coming year saying the outlook for 2023 was favorable, but climate change, which has affected agriculture and the threat of militancy in the Sahel, would still hurt the region's economy. Next year, it is expected that um, uh, in some countries within the region, uh, growth may be even actually reaching uh, double uh, digit uh, level. That is certainly, of course, subject to a number of uh, downside uh, risk that uh, needs to be taken into account. And of course, uh, when we talk also about the region, there are also potential security tension that uh, needs to be addressed and that actually requires countries to allocate a significant part of their budget uh, to, to address them. Growth is projected to slow from 6.1% in 2021 to 5.7% in 2022. That does it for this edition of Business Africa. Do stay with us. More news up next on africanews.com and on our platforms.